All right, this is a little bit of an oddball one because Nintendo is like getting really up to this limited release thing. Uh, we all know about the limited uh, release for Super Mario 3D All-Stars, physically, digitally, no longer available after March 31st of next year. So Nintendo says they could extend that date if the sales are really, really high. I don't know why Nintendo would leave money on the table. But uh, that's not the only thing that Nintendo's limiting. In fact, they're removing something on September 30th really out of nowhere uh, that they never had to, well, remove. So let's talk about that, shall we? Uh, before I get into it, I need to tell you guys about our giveaways. We have two giveaways going on, one for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, another for a Switch Lite, and two games of choice to find how to enter. Go down to the description. All right, let's get into this. We have a game from Nintendo called Jump Rope Challenge. This is a game that was created by Nintendo during the COVID-19 pandemic, right? This is something that some devs that were at home put together absolutely free. It's, it's a nice little workout game, jump roping. Uh, it, it, it's fun, right? It's not 100% accurate. It's not the greatest game out there, but you know what? It's just a little cute thing that Nintendo threw out there for free. Probably really no different than Pokemon Home or any of the other uh, free apps that exist out there, except that Nintendo made this one. Uh, they don't have any intention to sell it. Well, they're getting rid of it. <laughs> they announced literally a few days ago, this kind of flew under my radar, uh, that Jump Rope Challenge will be leaving the Nintendo eShop on September 30th. And they're like, oh, luckily, they, luckily, if you're reading this before, you can still get it for free. But use a pair of Joy-Con controllers and imagine them as handles of a jump rope and you jump virtually. I mean, I, I'll admit, Jump Rope Challenge is part of my routine. I play Jump Rope Challenge. I have downloaded Jump Rope Challenge. You might as well jump, download dump ro Jump Rope Challenge. Dump Rope. <laughs> jump Rope Challenge. Should you guys get, catch that one? Huh, you catch that? Dump Rope. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, you guys might as well jump, jump, it, jump into Jump Rope Challenge too because it's free. It's free. There's no reason not to have it unless you just don't have room on your Switch. And it's a very, very tiny game, let me tell you. Uh, I, it doesn't, it's not a huge deal that Jump Rope Challenge is leaving. It's not like this is, you know, a bestseller like Super Mario 3D All-Stars is going to be when it leaves the eShop on the 31st. But it's still baffling because they've, there's not really a reason to remove it. Like, why is Nintendo doing this? Okay, people sometimes, you know, you know, the way I've been talking about 3D All-Stars lately, they, they, they try to think, I'm not critical of Nintendo. I'm critical of Nintendo when I feel like they deserve it. And this is one of those situations where I could see where they want to get some free press to try to bump downloads of it again, but then it's just going to vanish, and I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand what Nintendo gains by removing Jump Rope Challenge. Now, you might say, well, what do they gain by keeping it? Interactivity. You get to keep people... Uh, using their Switch for a, a game slash app uh, for longer. I and, and I believe once you download it, if you archive it, you, you can still download it again. So this is just going to be for new downloads. You know, so you've, if you've had Jump Rope Challenge once before and you've archived it, I guarantee that you'll still be able to download it again after September 30th. I would be very shocked if it's one of those games they remove and you can't get it again. Because uh, I know if you bought Super Mario 3D All-Stars digitally, even when they remove it off the eShop on the 31st next year, March 31st, uh, you'll still be able to download it if you if you delete it or archive it or whatever, as long, as long as, cause it's tied to your account. So that's probably true with Jump Rope Challenge as well. So again, if you've already downloaded it, I'm sure you'll be able to get it again. So even if you're not, you know, like, I don't know if this is for me, just download it, then delete it. You know, download it, load it up, make sure it's, it's you know, with your account, archive it or whatever. Because uh, there's no... I, <laughs> I, I get it. It's a workout game. Who cares, right? It's a workout game. Who really cares? I mean, I saw the reactions to people, uh, you know, to the, the little punching game that was in uh, the latest Nintendo Direct. Like, for people, that was, like, the most boring part of the Direct. I get it. It's a workout game. When we're playing video games, a lot of us aren't thinking about working out. But as someone, for me, who's dropped 100 pounds in the last year and cannot buy Ring Fit Adventure at the moment because it's almost impossible to get my hands on it, I enjoy it. Like, Rim Fit Adventure is legit. It's a legit game. And I get the Jump Rope Challenge is such a, mi a minuscule thing in comparison to Nintendo's other workout game. But it's free. I, I, I don't understand what the point is of removing this is like them removing rusty's real deal baseball back on what is it ds or 3ds whatever that came out on like it's a free thing you can download yeah you can buy some stuff in it but it's a free game why why delete it like is this game costing nintendo so much money <laughs> it's already made 
You know, the only thing I can think of is that maybe Nintendo's not proud of the game. Maybe they feel like this doesn't represent Nintendo quality. Maybe we shouldn't have put it out there. But, I mean, it's been out there now for months and months. There's no real reason to get rid of it. It's not ruining Nintendo's reputation. So, I don't... You know, you know, like literally in the notes about this game during the announcement, it's like, hey, this game was created by a small group of Nintendo developers while working from home in Japan as a simple game to add some quick and fun movement into their daily lives. So, like, they made it for people to use at home. The pandemic's not over. Like, the pandemic doesn't end on September 30th. They made this so people at home had a quick, fun, free thing to do to get their bodies moving at home. And I've been taking advantage of it, and it It helps. It helps. You guys, you see me here banging out these videos every day. I, you know, a lot of this involves sitting while I'm editing and all this stuff. I don't have one of those standing desks or, or sit the stand desks. But you know what I try to do? I get up. You, you get 10, 15 minutes of some jump rope challenge in. You get your heart rate going, going. You get a little sweat going. You get your water drank, and you move on with your day. You get that little physical activity. Helps keep your metabolism. Like People always look at, oh, you have to work out for X amount of hours and X amount of time, so you burn calories. And absolutely, uh, there are ways that you can burn calories, especially with cardio, especially for long cardio sessions. But you know what's more important than the long cardio sessions is keeping your metabolism going. Your metabolism is what's going to break down those calories in your body and make your body use them for energy. So it's not just about burning calories. It's about keeping your metabolism going. So little health tip for you. So like a little bit of physical activity, even if it's a mile walk a day or jump rope. This, this is why you see those, 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 uh, a lot of those workouts are over oh, 10 minutes a day. Well, cause it's true. Cause it's not about the weight you lose from workouts. You generally do not lose weight from working out. You can tone up a little bit, but you generally don't lose weight. I was two, well, uh, 180 pounds overweight at one point. Like you don't lose weight from just working out. The diet combined with a little bit of physical activity to keep that metabolism going is how you lose weight. And Jump Rope Challenge did that. So the pandemic's not over. They made this for people in the pandemic, for employees and for uh, you know people at home. Guess what? A lot of people are still at home. And more people seem to be getting sent home all the time. You know, they're, they're talking about round two hitting this fall, this winter. I'm in the United States right now. We never got out of round one. And if round two hits harder, while round one is still technically going on, why why remove this game? Nintendo makes baffling decisions at times. I know this feels like a weird thing to be critical of. Oh, Nintendo's moving Jump Rope Challenge. Who cares? It's just more of a general gist like we, like the limited limited release and limited run super mario 3d all-stars come now now like just getting rid of a free app that you made specifically for the pandemic while the pandemic is still going on in most of the world i don't i don't get it i i just don't get some of the decisions nintendo makes uh this, this kind of goes back to i don't know if you guys remember this you know remember the headset situation with nintendo the original situation with it before um, Better Solutions came out, you know, where they were selling you this dongle that you had to connect to your phone and then connect it to your Switch, and that plugged into the headset, and that is how you were able to do voice chat in games, right? You had to have this ridiculous setup, um, and to this day, voice chat's still done on the phones for for Nintendo. Although there are there's games on Switch that circumvent it, like Fortnite and stuff, where you can do it like literally through your Switch. Like Nintendo probably should have had it set up to begin with. Uh, but that dongle situation got all messed up. Now there's like some Bluetooth adapters and other things that make it a little bit more simplistic, but it's still like on the consumer to figure that out. Nintendo doesn't have an official way. Nintendo's official way is still that really weird Splatoon headset dongle thingy. Um, that just has too many wires and it's just, it's ridiculous to be completely on. It's completely ridiculous. It reminds me of that. Like it's one of those baffling decisions that just doesn't make sense, but this is Nintendo and Nintendo just makes decisions like this once in a while. Thankfully this time around, it's on something dinky. It's not as big of a deal as 3d all-stars. I've already criticized that decision. Uh, so it, it's not as big a deal as that. It's just something they don't need to do. They just don't need to do this. But you know what? I have Jump Rope Challenge already. If you want Jump Rope Challenge, go check it out in the eShop. Free download. Uh, enjoy it while you can. Get your body moving a little bit. Heck, let me know uh, what your max jumps are that you can get. Uh, like, and, and when I say that, <laughs> please don't cheat. Just like with Just Dance, it's a game that you could technically cheat at. Don't cheat. If you're gonna if you're gonna tell me how many jumps you can get, you know, say in a minute, like how many jumps you can get in a minute. Don't cheat i want i want legit jumps legit i'll know if you cheat if you're like oh man i got five thousand jumps in a minute like come on come on bro 
Come on, bro. No way. No way. 5,000? No way. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jets from <laughs> Nintendo Prime. Uh, man, I never really thought that I would be talking about Jump Rope Challenge again. So I guess congrats, Nintendo. You got some free advertising for an app that you're removing at the end of the month.